Welcome to Hood War Stories. In this episode, I'll be discussing the Pasadena Devil Lanes. Pasadena Devil Lane Bloods, also known as PDL, are a black American gang located on the northwest side of Pasadena, California. They are considered the largest blood gang in San Gabriel Valley with over 300 active members. They are a subset of the LA Devil Lane Bloods and have been around since the 1980s. Their territory sits on Fair Oaks Avenue and stretches from West Mountain Street all the way to East Orange Grove Boulevard. The heart of their neighborhood is around Robinson Park. The lanes have also expanded into areas such as Antelope Valley, Monrovia, and Arcadia. Some of their allies include Crenshaw Mafia, Project Gangsta Bloods, and Weirdo Gangsta Bloods. A few of their rivals include the Altadena Block Crips, Pasadena Raven Avenue Crips, and Do Rock Crips. On December 22nd, 2016, Brandon Douglas, who was from PDL, was on the 1200 block of North Fair Oaks Avenue when a Do Rock member pulled up and let off shots. Brandon Douglas was hit multiple times and died from his gunshot wounds. On January 7, 2017, PDL members were gathered for a visual for Brandon Douglas when a car drove by with five Do-Rock Crip members inside. They then let off shots, which fatally wounded Armani Duncan and Antonio Suffin Jr. Two others were also hit, but they survived. The very next day, a PDL member was on the 100 block of Pepper Street when a black male walked up and started firing. The PDL member was wounded, but survived the attack. A few hours later, a group of Do-Rock members were outside on the 400 block of Pamela Road when three PDL members came through and started shooting, striking two people. On January 15th and January 16th, there were multiple drive-by shootings reported in both Pasadena and Duarte. Nobody was hitting those drive-bys. On January 17th, police found Corin Hensley and Lavelle Brown shot to death in a crash sedan on the 2200 block of Larchmont Street. Police believe that it was connected to the Pasadena shootings. Eight Do-Rock Crip members were ultimately charged with murder. On February 17, 2021, members of the ABC Crips and Do-Rock Crips were gathered for a funeral party on the 1500 block of North Solano Avenue. A PDL member then walked up towards the party and let off shots. Once the PDL member fired the initial shots, at least five members of the ABC party ran from the home's backyard to the front yard and began firing recklessly at the PDL member. Bullets struck several homes and vehicles in the neighborhood. Five ABC and Duwak Crip members were hit with a federal weapons charge stemming from the shootout. On December 13, 2011, Travell Thompson, who belonged to a rival gang, was visiting his girlfriend Gina Davis at her apartment on Fair Oaks Boulevard, close to Penn Street. A PDL member then walked up to Gina's door and asked, Hey, is that light-skinned dude here I seen yesterday? Gina responded with, I don't know who you talking about. Then closed the door in his face. A few minutes later, Travell left Gina's apartment. As he was walking out, he heard three to four gunshots. After the shooting, Travell ran to a nearby tire shop to go ask for help. He was taken to the hospital, where surgery was performed on his face. The gunshot to his face caused multiple fractures to his right eye socket and right cheekbone. Anthony Mitchell, from PDL, was ultimately convicted of attempted murder. On January 19, 2011, at around 8 p.m., Donnell Taylor, who was from PDL, was sitting on the front step of his porch on Summit Avenue. A black male then walked up and asked, What up, blood? Donnell told the male that his name was Touche. The male put out a gun and just said, Yeah, and started shooting. Donnell was shot four times and died from a gunshot wound to the heart. The main suspect's girlfriend became a paid informant and began to record conversations between her and him. Stephen Wright from ABC Crips was ultimately convicted of first degree murder. As of July 2013, Ronald Gibson had known Isaac Ross, who was from PDL, for about a month. They first met when Ronald was dating Isaac's sister, Tiana. On July 7, 2013, Isaac's baby mama called Ronald to help her change the tire. She said that Isaac was supposed to do it, but he had been gone for a couple of weeks. Ronald, along with his cousin Marcus, went to her house and changed the tire for her. On July 9th, 2013, Marcus drove Isaac from Victorville to San Bernardino. While they were on their way, Tiana called him and told him not to come because Isaac was coming with his homeboys with some guns to go look for him. Isaac also called Ronald's phone accusing him of trying to fuck his baby mama. Rather than visit Tiana, Ronald and Marcus went to go visit their cousin Ryan, who stayed in the projects in San Bernardino. While they were there, 
They got a call saying that Isaac was on his way. Ronald and Marcus were outside talking to Ryan when Isaac and a few of his homeboys pulled up in a gray Ford. Isaac got out and started jogging towards Ronald. He said, I want to catch the fade with you and your cousin. Where your cousin at? Ronald then said, I don't know what's going on right now. At that point, Isaac pulled a revolver out of his waistband and cocked it back. In the meantime, Marcus ran away into Ryan's house. Isaac grabbed Ronald by the shirt and said, I don't want to make a mess right here. Come over here between the cars. He pinned Ronald between his vehicle and another car. He then pointed a gun at Ronald's head and chest. Ronald tried to move to keep the gun away from his head, but Isaac said, if you keep moving, I'm going to pop you. Isaac then put his hands in Ronald's pockets and said, where the money at? Ronald then said, man, I ain't got number $20. Thanks, Isaac said, run that shit on bloods. On PDL, I need that. Ronald then said, is this really how it's going in for me? I'm going to die from this raggedy ass gun. At that point, Isaac fired one shot. When the gun went off, Ronald quick ducked his head to avoid getting hit from the bullet. In the meanwhile, Isaac's friends were in the car yelling, man, shoot that nigga blood. Isaac then used his left hand to punch Ronald in the face, then got back in the car and drove off. Isaac Bross from PDL was ultimately convicted of attempted murder. On June 7, 2007, Kevin Coleman, who was from PDL, was at Jim's Burger, which is a known blood hangout in Altadena. Kevin was talking to Ricky, who was a gang specialist for the Pasadena Police Department, when a black male with a blue bandana drove up, threw gang signs, and made his finger into a gun. He then said, don't make me catch your ass slipping. Five days later, Kevin was walking outside of his home on the 1600 block of Marengo, when the same black male walked up and started shooting. Kevin was hit multiple times, but he survived. Damon Franklin, from the Raymond Avenue Crips, was ultimately convicted of attempted murder. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.